We've been talking about inspiration from art and architecture, and Leslie Rogowski is here to show us a really interesting technique using long magatamas. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Katie. Yes, I want to take. I want you to take a look at the long magatamas in the tray here. They're a very unusual shape. Um, they are drop beads, but they have a unique architecture about them that mm -hmm. makes them very interesting to play with. Mm -hmm. Over here, I just strung them randomly on a piece of wire, and they have a great texture. Mm -hmm. But I figured out that they're like little parallelograms, and the holes actually have a direction. Mm -hmm. And once I realized that, mm -hmm. I saw that I could develop this really cool structure and architectural mm -hmm. pattern. So I applied them to tubular peyote which is on, um, worked around a rod mm -hmm. to help give it structure. And you can see the geometry and the foundation of them is a very architectural. Yeah, it's a really cool effect. It really works mm -hmm. out great. And then I just went to just using the mags, as some people call them. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you can still see the rhythm and the foundation of it. Mm -hmm. So once I realized that, I could see that I could have a regular pattern. And I'm going to show you how I do okay. that and what to pay attention to. I love Here, it that you have the tricks all figured out. Well, thank <laughs> I did all the work ahead yeah, for you. <laughs> perfect. We like that. Okay, so you can see here that I am stringing the bead actually from top to bottom. The holes are at the diagonal. When you do a tubular peyote, I've strung it around a piece of paper here. Mm -hmm. Whatever bead you come out of, mm -hmm. that's the bead you're going to pick up. So I've picked up the magatama. I've come out of a magatama, I'm going to skip one black and go through the next black, just like peyote. Mm -hmm. And I have them in pairs like this to help create the spiral look oh, okay. in black and white. Mm -hmm. And what type of thread would you use for this project? I'm going to be using a pretty strong thread, mm -hmm. a six or an eight. Okay. Um, beading thread and a nice um, sturdy needle, maybe a 12. You always want to use a needle that's going to fit through the beads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so coming over here, and I also have cylinder beads in size 10 so it works up a little faster. Okay. So I've done some stitching, mm -hmm. and you can see that I would come through a bead and pick up that bead and go through the next bead, and it creates that same kind of regularity mm -hmm. and architectural foundation, almost like a circular staircase, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. really, if you look at it like that. Right. And to me, that's the appeal of doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so I can show you a little more here. Yeah, and it looks like by using the black and white, you're also really reinforcing that pattern, the spiral staircase pattern. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. when I showed you the first sample, which mm -hmm. just had those beautiful rosy mm -hmm. AB beads, if you're a beginner, you just have to pay more attention to the beads mm -hmm. you're coming in and out of. Okay. This really helps you see which bead you're going in and okay, out so of. Okay, so show us how to pick up, where you pick up the next bead then. Okay, so if you look at this mm -hmm. and see the bead I'm coming out of, I'm actually following the angle of the sides of the bead. So I know mm -hmm. that I'm going to have to pick up um, one of these magatamas from the low side to the high side. And I don't know if you can see that there, that I'm going at an angle. Okay. And I'm going to pick that up, skip the next bead, which is a white bead, mm -hmm. and go through the next white bead. Oh, that does make it a lot easier to figure out where you are in the pattern. So it really does. Mm -hmm. And then you can see that new bead mm -hmm. sits. And you'll know right away if you're picking the bead up the wrong way because they're going to sit against each other. Can you show us what it would other. look like if you did pick it up I the absolutely. Wrong way? Let's see. Okay, so here I'm picking it up from high to low, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go through the next bead. Okay. Normally, I would be picking up one of the um, smaller cylinder beads to go here. Okay. All right. But if you pick it up the wrong way... And you're working on a drinking straw. It doesn't really matter what surface you put inside, That's right? That's a good thing to bring mm -hmm. up, that you can bring up something that fits. When I start, I start with a rolled piece of paper because it'll expand to fit oh, what I okay. need. Oh, okay, good idea. But you can see right away oh, yeah. that this is going to be a little wonky. Mm -hmm. You'll notice right away when it's out of pattern. Mm -hmm. And actually, some of the other finished pieces I brought show yeah. when it's randomly well, strong. Well, let's take a look at those. 
So this is a memory wire bracelet or necklace that you made here. That's a bracelet on memory wire, and mm -hmm. I just went willy-nilly. I didn't pay attention mm -hmm. to how they were strung. The holes mm -hmm. are nice and large and uniform, so they fit nicely mm -hmm. on memory wire. And what about your color choices here? I noticed you have a little bit of graduation. I loved some of the matte surfaces mm -hmm. that these are available in. Mm -hmm. So I did a third of the bracelet in one color, a third in, in a second and the mm -hmm. third. And just for variation, I added some little dangles. So you can kind of see the color changing there. Yes, and I put, and I spaced out with um, beads in between them so it really has this nice, almost oh. leafy effect. Now what size are these in between? They're size 10s because okay. it's a nice scale to work with mm -hmm. the mags. Mm -hmm. um, you can use 11s, but the 10s also fit on the memory wire better. Mm -hmm. and so that's something to, to keep in mind, that you yeah. always want to use your stringy material, whether it's wire or thread, that mm -hmm. fits the whole of your beads. Well, and especially with these, I could see if you had a really small seed bead, it might fall inside the hole because the mags do have That's a really good hole. point. It could. Mm -hmm. So you could use anything in between there. You mm -hmm. could make beaded spacers or use other larger beads if you'd mm -hmm. like. But these really set off the leafiness. They look like they're coming out of stems. Yeah. So it's almost like a natural architecture that's formed right. with that. Well, that's a really pretty piece. And then tell us about your earrings here. And the earrings, so fast. I put jump rings through them again because mm -hmm. the holes are large enough. And uh, well, just you. hung them on the chain. And well, there you go. They're so pretty. Well, thank you, Leslie.